All right, welcome back to Getting Sober, dot, 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 again. My name is Jay, and today we have 10 reasons to quit drinking. If you haven't yet, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, and if you care about your sobriety as much as we do, then make sure that you're subscribed. All right, let's get started. Reason number one to quit drinking alcohol is, alcohol is consuming your personal life. Does it give you anxiety to think of hanging out with your friends and your family without getting drunk? If most of your social situations involve alcohol, that's a clear sign that it's time to start cutting back on your drinking. Since I've quit drinking, it's been a pleasure to say that now I can be me for free. Reason number two to quit drinking is daily binge drinking. It's easy to get to a point where we can't cope with our daily existence. The stress of work, relationships, and responsibilities can be enough for anyone to feel like they need to escape. And an easy way to numb the pain of our personal and professional lives is by staying intoxicated. You know it's not healthy mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, and financially. That voice inside your head is begging you to change. So what better time to start than now? Reason number three to quit drinking is alcohol's affecting your job. A lot of us aren't exactly working our dream jobs. And when we aren't feeling good about what we have to do to keep a roof over our heads, it's easy to want to escape. Eventually, we start becoming less consistent and dependable at work. We start missing days, calling off, and maybe even being laid off because of it. Reason number four to quit drinking alcohol is getting drunk is your main hobby. There's two main reasons why we drink. Number one, to feel better. And number two is to escape. Finding yourself in a routine of daily intoxication rewires your brain into seeking happiness from, you guessed it, alcohol. Reason number five to quit drinking is your health's declining. Many members of our sobriety community have reported losing weight, lowering their blood pressure, and being able to cut down or even get off of excessive prescription medications. We only have this body and this one life to live. In as little as 30 days off alcohol, you can start to see changes in your physical and mental health. And speaking of mental health, reason number six to quit drinking alcohol is your mental health is declining. You probably feel like you got a touch of the crazies, don't you? <laughs> I know that when I got to the point that I knew I needed to quit drinking, I was blaming everyone else and everything else besides my own actions for what was happening in my own life. I was waking up depressed. I was waking up with anxiety. I was looking for quick and immediate solutions to change how I felt. And each day started the countdown until I could start drinking, dot, 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 again. I was even going to therapy while I was binge drinking every day, which is basically like poisoning yourself every day, but going to your doctor every week and wondering why you're still sick. Reason number seven to quit drinking is you're not making any life progress. Everyone's going to have different goals and different standards for their own life. But I'm willing to bet that you want more out of yours, don't you? Maybe you want to live in a nicer house or a nicer neighborhood. Maybe you want to have a better job, a more romantic relationship, or how about just getting along better with your family? The toxic cycle of daily drinking causes us to have less time in the day to accomplish what we need to do, which also includes the self-work and the time and the space that we need to heal from our past toxic behaviors. Remember, you are not defined by your past mistakes. And the best way to relieve yourself and to show the people around you that you're no longer that old version of yourself is to quit drinking. Reason number eight to quit drinking is your reputation and integrity are questionable. One of the consequences of intoxication is having the scapegoat of being drunk and not holding ourselves accountable for our own actions. What we do, what we say, and how we compose ourselves typically takes a back seat to however we end up feeling while we're intoxicated. They say that ignorance is bliss, but giving ourselves daily brain damage and conveniently forgetting what we may have done to hurt others and our own reputation is not bliss. And it's in fact ignorance on our part. Reason number nine to quit drinking is you're spending a small fortune on alcohol, not just alcohol, but all of the alcohol related expenses that you probably wouldn't have otherwise. From decisions like buying everyone around of beers and shots or you name it, Late night greasy foods to sober up or consuming other substances to sober up. Taking a taxi, Lyft, Uber, parking tickets, getting our car towed, or even worse, getting a DUI. It all adds up. Did you know that the average cost of a DUI in the United States is $11,000? On top of that, a DUI conviction never comes off your record. What would you rather spend $11,000 on? Comment below. And reason number 10 to quit drinking is you're sick and tired of being sick and tired. 
Every day you wake up feeling the guilt, the shame, the resentment, remorse, depression, anxiety, and the hopelessness. Oh, and waking up hungover. You probably stopped believing in yourself and your ability to quit drinking a long time ago. You probably made bargains with yourself like, I'll just limit myself to two drinks a day, or I'll only drink on the weekends, or I'll just drink on special occasions, only to find yourself binge drinking again the very next day that your boss or your coworker, or your spouse or family members get on your nerves. And the cycle of guilt, shame, and misery starts all back over again. You know something needs to change. It might be the people that you hang out with. It might be where you work. It might be the other habits that remind you of drinking. But we need to start looking internally and start asking real questions. So many people say that they want sobriety, but won't work for it. If you've suffered from childhood trauma, a death in the family, a loss of a friend or a loved one, or any number of circumstances that are out of your control, it's healthy to mourn, to grieve, and to need time and space to heal. But it's not normal to sink your own ship and to take everyone else down with you. Consider therapy to sort out your unresolved stresses and traumas so you can find better tools to work through what's been bothering you. If you're looking for affordable online therapy, there's a link in the video description down below and you get 20% off your first month and you can cancel anytime. You can also start going to local AA meetings and or free online meetings through the I Am Sober app. So. What are some of the reasons that you want to quit drinking? Comment down below. And with that, I want to wish you good luck on your sobriety journey, and I will see you in the next video. If you want to see another one of our videos, click here.